United States blocks imports from China's Uyghur slave camps. In Xinjiang, China, aka East Turkestan, in the United States of America, this week the Trump administration moved to block imports of cotton and tomato products from the Xinjiang region of China over concerns that they were made with forced labor. China is the world's largest exporter of cotton, and most of which comes from the Xinjiang region. China has described the camps as vocational training centers. The centers are among places that imports are banned from. Federal law prohibits the importation of merchandise mined, manufactured, or produced in part or fully by convict labor, forced child labor, and indentured labor. labor. Quote, surveying uh, emerging threats from last year, one menacing actor continues to evolve. China said uh, acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf in a speech, quote, we are preventing uh, goods produced by slave labor from entering our markets and demanding that China respect the inherent dignity of each human being. Isn't Trump's and Ivanka's clothing brands still going to be made in China? Um, I think that's actually the clothing brand of his daughter. Oh, I said Ivanka, that's why. Yeah. So Ivanka as well. Yeah. Anyways, but this is good. Okay, guys, I know that I know here we are anti Trump. We are. I mean, at least the hosts are. Some of our community isn't. And we accept them here, even though they're wrong. Um, uh, like Ethan here, for example, if he's here, I don't know if he's here or not. He is pro Trump and he's wrong, but we accept him here, even though he's wrong. Um, <laughs> But, oh, we got a super chat. I'm going to keep, um, yeah, let me actually finish this point before yeah. I bring up the super chat. Um, this, uh, we're, but this is good. This is progress, okay? This needs to be, this needs to happen. This move against China needs to happen. And we can, at the same time that we point out everything that we think wrong, uh, Trump is wrong about, wow, we're getting super chat after super chat. Um, we could, at the same time, point out uh, that this is a good move. Because if you just do not celebrate, if you do not celebrate and congratulate and promote and encourage good actions like this, then just because you disagree with 99% of the things that you do, then there's no motivation to, for, the, for the things to get better. Okay. You do need to encourage this kind of behavior. And yes, yes, I know that the United States government, when they do stand on the you know, a lot of times when they're promoting human rights, it's not because they care about human rights. It's because they are taking a political uh, move against their enemies. This is why the United States is aggressively against Iran's, I Iranian government's human rights violations and China's government's human rights violations. But for some fucking reason, and we all know that fucking reason, not against Saudi Arabia's a human rights violation and we know they're being hypocrites and we know they're not being consistent with their standards and we know that this is mostly uh, a strategic move and not Armin, because do you of think that reason starts with o and ends with l <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah perhaps but yeah maybe uh not sure but maybe uh but then we all know, we know that okay but but we have to take what we can get we have to take what we can get even though if the motivation is not there even though if they're hypocrites come on we it's better for there needs to be a backlash against we could celebrate and encourage the backlash against china's fuckery while at the same time point out the hypocrisy and the double standard and the motivation we could do these these two things are not a contradiction. We could celebrate this move whilst also pointing out the hypocrisy and the double standard. Um, Rivka, you want to say something? Let me bring up the super chat. No, I, I agree with you. I don't think they're mutually exclusive from each other. I think it's important, actually, to talk about the things that are good, regardless of whether you know one thinks the motivation might not be the same motivation that other people have. And the truth is, I don't think very few governments do anything because they really care about people or occasionally, or that it's, you know, the deepest, their deeply held beliefs. You know, I think that it's a combination of all of those things because they are in a political environment and they do have, you know, other 
things at play. So regardless of what the motivation might be, the outcome is that it was a good thing and we should be celebrating the the good things, the victories, small, large, whatever. And regardless of who, you know, did it so you don't like the Trump administration, okay, but this particular thing was a good move. And you can still like the outcome of what they did. Right. Uh, Susanna, do you want to address the Super Chats really quickly? Thank you, sir. Um, okay, well, this one is a little bit off topic because it was our last news, so I don't know if we'll get fully into it. But thank you for the Super, super Chat, Bashir. Um, they're saying, why is it that someone has to die for the World Wrestling Federation? Well, technically, it wasn't the World Wrestling Federation. That's an American... Uh, entertainment wrestling company. Um, this was a uh, an actual sporting thing from Germany um, to take uh, a stance. Has the injustice of Islamic Republic of Iran just started? Um, very good point. Um, I think if it would have been effective to sanction them from sports a lot sooner. But let's hope they actually go forward and do it now. Um, then Haram Bain gave us five dollars. Thank you, Haram Bain. And it's just a smiley face with a tongue sticking out. So, ah. Just like Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then from Arjun, five Canadian dollars. Thank you, Arjun. Um, five dollars for the AKA East Turkestan. Thank you. Though this super chat is considered sedition back home. Damn. Mm. Well, the more you know. Wow. Um, yeah. So. I would like to remind everyone that in June, CBP officials at the port of Newark ex uh, intercepted a shipment from Xinjiang that contained 13 tons of human hair um, and hair extensions and products that were suspected to be made from people in forced child labor and imprisonment. Isn't, okay. that, isn't that what they did in concentration camps? In the, um, in, it, by the it's literally what they did right. during and the big age. Yes. During the, the, the Nazi, the German Nazi people. But yeah, I mean, this is why you remember. This is why you remember the Big H. This is why you remember it, guys. Because mm -hmm. shit like this that is happening again. Again, where? Okay, never mind. Go on. Yeah, no, I mean, I. Sometimes people get frustrated, frustrated with us and they say, like, oh, well, you talk about this too much. Yeah, I'm going to keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. I think there have been, like, 10 genocides within Armin's lifetime, less within mine. But, you know, what's the point of um, saying never again if this just continues to happen over and over and over? Um, oh, we just got a $1 super chat from um, Venthen. Thank, Thank you. you. You absolutely should keep talking about it. And yeah, anyone I... who gets upset about it, too bad. Yeah. You absolutely should keep talking about it. There's n okay. no imperative to stop talking about it until these people stop doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, their history is filled with people who say that, you know, when you're not saying anything, you're, you know, being complicit or all these things that people talk about, which I don't know if those are necessarily true for every instance, but as Christopher Hitchens said, you know, the grave provides plenty of time for silence okay so while you're alive you absolutely should keep talking about it um this is a dumb comment do you want to address that comment try first is saying china is atheism country you guys atheism what new then you guys atheism but well First of all, we are literally proving you wrong as we speak, speak against these crimes. Like, do we even need to say anything else? Like, we are literally showing you that we are atheists and we're calling out this bullshit. So the fact that you want to tie this to atheism, I mean, keep trying. We are proving you wrong. We are proving you wrong. I don't think this person has really paid attention to who we are. We're not yeah. just atheists. We're atheists who give a shit. Yeah. Hey, what's hey. up? <laughs> yeah. You can tell Rivka's been here a minute. That's what's up. Um, yeah. Um, this is. 
I mean, in, in regards to the situation, I'm like, I'm always looking for more situ, uh, more sanctions, more sanctions. I don't, I don't give a damn. I want more sanctions. Mm-hmm. Um, even if it's, yeah, maybe against my best interest, I want more sanctions on this. Um, and so uh, I always celebrate every time I see in the news that there are more sanctions against China. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys have, any, have anything else to add? With For the- people who don't know, what Rivka said is basically Aces Republic's uh, tagline. Like it says, you know, right, you know, so so it was a great time to use it. So, yeah, thank you. So yeah. I, I, I just want to mention that because people, some people might not know that that's basically officially our tagline. It used to be, it used to be Aces Republic. We're not just atheists. We're atheists who care. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, okay, that's a bit cheesy. We're atheists who care. <laughs> So we're like, okay, let's just cross out the care part and say give a shit. So it gets yeah, more less cheesy. Um, yeah, but look, everybody say yes, Rivka. <laughs> and Luke is saying Riff, Rivka is so good. And we got another one dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Vincent. With no comment, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, no, okay, yeah. So you know what? Um, if Muslims, okay, if Muslims are motivated to talk about China's crimes, if they get motivated to talk about it because they want to tie this to atheism and they're seeing atheism as a threat and they're more motivated to talk about China's crimes because they see it as a way to fight atheism, I'm okay for it. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Just whatever excuse... It. Whatever excuse you want to find, if it is, is if it's demonizing atheism, I don't give a shit. Any excuse you could find to talk about China's crimes against humanity, you do you, you do you. Okay, just fucking talk about it. Well, and Sorry. I mean, the motivation is to save people's lives, to stop them from China from doing these terrible things to other human beings. So. If people have to say that atheism's bad in order for them to to want to be motivated to save people's lives, then I really don't care. Because no. what you know what I mean? What you were saying, like if that's their motivation to speak out against this, it, it, the the goal is to save people's lives to get China to stop doing. So exactly. if that is how you get them in the beginning to talk about it, then okay. Um, okay, this is, not, this is a $10 super chat. So let's end this here because this is very off topic, but it's a $10 super chat. So thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Susanna, do you want to read this? Um. Vethan Mani Maran is saying, Hi, Armin. Origin of Hinduism is with foreign invasions and subjugation of Otto Chinthonis. Um, pop, I don't know that word. Um, I'll probably pop, ask you to read it because you're yeah. better. Yeah. Otto Chinthonis population and caste system based on racial divide. Bring this to light? Question mark. I have evidence. Caste uh, system is based on Hinduism. It's, it didn't come. The caste system was there before uh, foreign invasion. I don't know which foreign invasions if you're referring to. Is he talking about the British and the Muslims? Because that's not, or maybe I got something the older. word. Yeah, what is it? Um, it means indigenous rather than descended from migrants or colonists. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think the caste a caste system is part of didn't come from other places i mean i don't know is do you guys i don't know what this means i mean thank you for the ten dollar super chat but does this look like in one of those attempts to blame everything wrong with india on other people is that one of one of those things does it seem like it i don't know what that means i, I don't know what the what is being argued here but that's it, it well, comes what across to me. invaders is he talking about like moguls or is he talking about different yeah. Oh yeah, indigenous. That's what I thought that meant. But is he talking about different groups from that specific area? Different emperors, like oh, uh, the guy who put up the poles. Everywhere. Oh, this is this is what they're talking about. They're talking about something older. Yes, yes. Hinduism came with the invasion of, of the Hindus. Okay, so they're talking about something way older. Yes. Okay. okay in that case, yeah. in that case, it's not what I thought it was. 
Um, but yeah, that would be interesting to learn about. But yeah, off topic. Uh, the news very, segment. very off topic. Anyways, um, I should know this because this was the Aryans who did this, and <laughs> Armin means Armin. Do you guys know, by the way, that Armin literally means the guardian of the Aryan land? Mm -hmm. So I should know what my people did to you guys back then, but I don't. I don't know. I don't. Oh, care. dude, your name became this topic of this guy who got super butt hurt on my page about Holly. <laughs> and he was like, how dare this guy whose name means the guardian of the Iranian. I'm like, look, buddy, you know, he's just named Armin. You know, he's not <laughs> guarding any lands and, you know, come on, man. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gardening some lands, but not guarding any lands. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> he's only been fighting Aryan supremacy since before he was this an atheist activist. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. I have I'm a betrayal to my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have, yeah I have failed. I do not deserve to hold the Armin name. What is yeah, anyway. Oh, um anyways, anyways. We should guys again if you are a YouTube member or if you're a patron, we have um discounts to our t shirts. Twenty per Susanna said 10%. I said 20%. And Susanna said 20%. Are you crazy? What are you doing? We're just, we're giving these shirts away for me. I'm like, no, Susanna, they're already members and patrons. Of course, it needs to be 20%. And she was like, no, 10% only. No, she said, no. I said, nope. I, what I about if you again. meet in the middle and say 15? No, I already started it with 30, but we agreed on 20. Anyways, so 20% discount. Like this, look at the so link in the description again. The, um, there's also a link in the description for how to get your coupon code if you're a patron or if you're a YouTube member. And here's a link to our shirts. Um, this is one of the benefits to being a YouTube member. Okay, so again, guys, do not wear sexy Cali if you're in India. Okay. And, Somebody, Suraya wanted to wear it in India. Suraya is like, <laughs> Suraya is like very mean. But Suraya, do not wear sexy Kelly. It's like trying to wear it in India. I'm like, no, get these other shirts. Like, look at this one. This is funny. Like, I, I, I made this. I came up with this idea. Okay, I saw a meme on a on Asia's, uh, no, somewhere else. They're saying 2020, one out of five, very bad, would not recommend. See, I, I come up with t-shirts idea based on memes, right? Every time I see a meme that is very short, I'm like, that could be a t-shirt. And then I turn it into a t-shirt. I just replaced 2020 with religion, and now we have a t-shirt, right? And then I saw another meme that said, look at this one, where is this? Uh, God, I saw a meme that said God is good, and then for nothing, I did it to it. I like again. I saw this meme. I was like, that meme could be a T-shirt as well. So every time I see a meme, if it's short and to the point and funny and understandable by most people, I like, I'm making that into a shirt, right? So this is how I come up with ideas, right? Um, oh no, Suraya was talking about the AR logo. Okay, yes, the AR logo. Get that one. That is. Look at this one. Look how sexy this one is. Okay, link to all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Link to all of this is in the description. Again, it's already like it's already like fourteen ninety nine, and then you get a twenty percent discount rate on top of that. You know what? Actually, though, um, I was just making a joke about this, but there's some seriously problematic issues. This with this is that the women's shirts are three dollars more. <laughs> okay, first of all, they're not. Even though the profit margin are now lower. Like, look at this because the the female the women's t shirt. First of they all, cost these are, more, I know. They cost more to make. And also, these classic tees are unisex. That's true. These yeah, but they don't, tees, look, they don't look good. You need the women's cut. I like mm. it. I like the women's cut. Look at, the, look at this. Susanna is wearing it. Susanna, again. You're wearing the women's shirt, right? Yes, or but I got unisex. this one off the of spreadshirt, not t Oh, you got the spreadshirt. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, on Atheist Republic, we have more options. If you don't like the tees, this Teesprings is just the classic tees. If you don't like the, if you want more options, go to atheistrepublic.com um, on our store there. We have way more options. We have masks. We have women's shit. And again, you have it's sexy not, we have collie masks. Yes, we do have. We have pets, um, yeah. clothes, accessories, we have buttons, accessories buttons, pads, yeah. Yes, backpacks, yeah. hats. Yeah. But yeah, oh, don't I accuse of uh, Rivka is going woke. She's accusing <laughs> us of sexism because the woman clothing costs more. They cost more. No, no, so they this cost is how I know. The retailer 
Rivers are the ones who yeah. make it. Cost no, you more. flip it and reverse it and say, Rivka, why does that one have to be the women's shirt? Right? Oh, that, yeah. That you because you men's think men... bodies aren't cut that way. Who gets to decide they are men? Exactly. You know? Yeah, you don't. You can't say they are men. Well, we're not going to have this conversation, are we? Because it's not going to end good. <laughs> okay. okay, no, no. Or that's well, okay. I should say. That was bad grammar. It's not going oh. to end well, well for some oh. people. They're not going to okay. agree with my. I would also okay. just like to say that Armin is exaggerating our discussion about the discount code. No. That's, yes. That's like exactly that's right. how You're lying on me. You are lying on me. Right. But I can, you know, I can just under the bus. Look, is not here anymore. Look, I can just literally just Armin, remove it. Susanna. <laughs> 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 oh. All right, all right. Let's, I'm gonna go eat. My food is ready behind me, so I'm gonna go eat it. I'm hungry. All right. Um, I'm, thank charity. you, everybody, guys. Can you, Rivka and Susanna, can you yell at people and tell them to like and subscribe and for um, our YouTube channel and hit the bell button, please? No, oh, you have us it. doing your bidding now yes, after this yes. whole patriarchy discussion. <laughs> your food's ready, and now you're just gonna have us do what you want. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Okay, fine. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm okay. just teasing. Go eat food. <laughs> Aryan <Okay>. warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Our Persian king. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna tell people. I'm just gonna tell them in a normal tone, guys. Please. Oh, Armin, subscribe to the channel. Would. Like, <laughs> hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Again, our channel needs to grow. Again, if you're watching this on Facebook, please also hop over to our YouTube channel and make sure our ch YouTube channel grows. Go there and like and subscribe it. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, if you're on, follow us on Twitch as well, so that our Twitch, again, link to our Twitch is in the description. We're live streaming this, uh, the news, we're doing it every week. Uh, we live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at the same time. At the same time, that's impressive, isn't it? Anyways, that, that deserves a like right there, okay? Like right now, okay, thank you. Help us grow. Help us grow, please. Please help us grow. This is like this. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 